It's 4.30 in the morning and this crazy man, our dad, is about to run a 50 mile race. So what do you have to say, Dad? See you at the finish. <laughs> With all these crazy people. Crazy, crazy people. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> Coming up. Yep. <laughs> Here we are, about 5.9 miles in. It's starting to be pretty light. And uh, got a pretty decent uphill at the moment. So, power hiking this section a little bit. Here's Matt. Hello, hello. That's me almost falling off the edge here. There's the ascent. All right, that's it for now. We're about going up that first hill right there. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right, here we are. It says somewhere right at 50. Eight stations, somewhere around if it falls seven short, miles. Then I gotta keep going. They say right? seven, seven and a half. My watch says 7.75. So here we go. We're gonna uh, keep on going. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Good job, you guys. Hey, thanks for being up here. Good job. Good job. Yeah. There's Matt keeping strong, Hello. keeping it strong. There's me. I want to show you guys this after we get around this. Look at this peak. See through the trees there. I can hear people around me with trail talking. It lets me know I'm, I'm moving way too fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
that's it for now. So we're leaving Williams Aid Station, which is around uh, 9.20 in the morning. And uh, what are we, about 15 miles in, something like that? Uh, just about shy of 16. Just shy of 16 miles. Thanks for being out. Thank you. So we got about a two mile run. And then after that, this next section is just gonna be kind of power hiking up. Pretty good stretch, so turn this off and get back to it. Look, there's Mighty Cobb. Look at him go. Look at him go. So according to my Garmin, which cut out, so I lost a little bit of my uh, distance. So I'm not sure exactly where, what the mileage is, but it says 16.77 miles. Lapse time, four hours, 33 minutes. And that's it. All right, coming into Carson Aid Station. About, uh, what is it, 21 and a half miles? So what it says on the map. Cut off to get out of here. It's noon, you gotta be past this aid station by noon. It's 11.14, so it's cutting it close. Welcome to Here's my best friends right now. Here, look at these guys, my best friends. 21. 21, here it welcome, is. Welcome, welcome. Nope. Hey, how are you? Spout bags are for smart people. <laughs> Can I fill up some water for you? Uh, yes, please, yeah. Okay. All right, leaving Carson Aid Station. It's 11.25. Man, that's close. Matt left, I think, at 11.13, they said. So he's, he's on out ahead of me. Had some watermelon, put on some clean socks, got some water. I don't know why, but grabbed me some bacon, because it was there. I don't know how smart that was, but we'll find out. Now I got another 
five miles of climb or so up this. And this is this is the mellow part. So I'm gonna do a little less breathe a little more breathing, a little less talking. Okay, so I'm not really sure how far I've gone because my watch crapped out again. But now I've gone at least 27.34 and it's about 1.52 in the afternoon. And these climbs are just, they're grizzlies, I tell you. They are vicious, but I got a little flat spot here at the top on the divide, I guess, it's on the Colorado Trail. So I thought I might be able to run this section, but I'm just pooped. I got nothing in the tank. I'm taking my tail. Thin. So I'm walking this at a 19 point, 19 minute, 20 second pace, which I ain't going to get the job done. So I'm going to have to find it somewhere. And from the looks of it behind me, the looks of it in front of me, there ain't nobody else out on this trail in my section. So it's quite possible I'm what they call DFL. If you're a runner, you know what that is. If you don't, I'm not gonna explain it to you, but it's not great. But if you finish, you finish. So anyway, whew. problem with it up here at this elevation. Let's see what we're at. So right now we dropped a little bit. We're at 12,684 feet of sea level. You got three things to do. You gotta breathe. You gotta eat. You gotta drink. And when you eat, you breathe. Or when you eat, you drink. You can't breathe. So every time I take a drink, I get super winded. And then have to start all over. If you don't, you get super dehydrated. If you don't eat, you walk. So that's just it. It's beautiful. The winds were blowing probably 30 or 40 mile an hour at the top, but that was for only a couple of miles, maybe three miles. Right here, you got a light breeze. It's keeping it cool. I mean, look at these skies. Look at this. There ain't a cloud in the sky, and yet there's a cool breeze. 
that's a this is a just a great just a great day. Just have a little more gas in the tank, but it's a great day. Okay, I got about. I've got maybe three, three and a half miles to the next aid station. And then from there, I get a nine mile downhill stretch. And that stretch will take me into Slumgolian aid station. And I gotta be at that aid station by six o'clock. So, if I don't make it by six, then I miss the cutoff. That's 40 miles. So I got to do the last 10 in three hours if I make some going in by six. So and there's a pretty good climb in the last little bit. I better shut up and get this thing done. Throw something up for you. Yeah, let's get some. Let's get some water. Water. Yeah. Okay. I'm leaving Divide Aid Station. It's 3:16. I got my right foot is it's all wrinkled up. Put some more Vaseline on it, but that's only gonna last me probably a couple miles. Um, had some M and M's, a, banana, a quarter of a banana, watermelon, a little bit of water. Brought some magic M&Ms with me though. How about that? All right. I'll probably edit that part out. All right, catch me outside. I edit that part out too. Okay, so apparently I came out of the divide Aid station went the wrong direction. Just had to go back to where I left the trail, get back on the trail, and then head the right direction. So that cost me probably 10 minutes. I don't know. Anyway, I'm back on the right trail. Even after stopping at that aid station, I got. I gotta get a second wind. Some of tasted good, but I don't know that they really helped me out. Got a little bit of a stomach ache now. And uh, still don't have a lot of gas in the tank. We're going back uphill again. So, once 
once I get to the downhill, it shouldn't be too long, a couple miles. I can haul into Slim Golian, but I gotta be there by six to make the cutoff. Hope I make it. believe this I gotta be in Slumgolian by six to make the cutoff. I got a decent downhill stretch. So crossing my fingers hoping to make it. I will let you know. Here we are, coming in, I'm going. Mary, thank you guys, thank you for being here. Thank you. Oh yeah. Appreciate you, buddy. What's your name? Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Tell me. I need. What do you need? Okay, it's 5:29 out of Slum Gullion, and uh, I emptied everything out of the back of my pack, including my poles, based on some advice I got from uh, somebody that was working the aid station that's done this before. The last 10 here. So I hope I made the right decision. Got blisters on both my heels. And uh, had a couple of otter pops at that aid station. That was nice. All right. Here we go. Looks like we may have bottomed out. <clears throat> Coming out of some going. Then we'll get to a climb. After that. And then that's the part we're on. I don't know if you can see it. That's the part we're on. That last little bit. The last 10 miles. trees for a little bit I gotta go
Sports drinks if you got it. Was that water? Sports drink. Oh, yeah. We're here for five. No. Yep. Uh, I balked pretty hard coming down that. I, I took out my, I cleaned out my bag. That's what I'm going and took out my salt pills. Oh, no. Oh. And so, uh, Do you need salt pills? No, I'm, I'm caught up. Somebody else gave me some, but that was a rough go for coming up. Your bag. What's Look, that? Did you tear your bag? Oh, I, oh, it so I think that's spot. Yep. I don't know. Where's yeah. it? Electrolyte in this one? Uh, water. Maybe give me water in that one just in yeah. case. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, I'm cutting it close. I just left Vickers. Yeah, I just left Vickers. 7.38. Got three and a half miles to go. It's downhill, but it's steep downhill, so. I don't know what kind of speed I'm gonna get. Man, I hope I get there. I had some bad news on that final descent, or final ascent. I'll let you guys know about it once I'm done with the run. But it wasn't good. All right, gotta go. Which side? Right or left? Right in the middle. Two big trees. Right here. Yeah. 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 All right. And here comes number 21. 21 is Tony Klein from Nevada. Nice bright shirt. And he's through the line. Yeah. Shirt, and he's through the line. Welcome to Lake City. 